Hey guys, Tim Ray with Century 21 here. Just wanted to visit with y'all for a few minutes. I know in the last couple of years we've seen a lot of changes in Jonesboro, Arkansas with the landscape and some of the skyline. And uh, today I'm visiting with Matt Heather Clark with Innovative Investments, who has been a big part of those changes in Jonesboro, Arkansas. And I just wanted to first start off and just ask you a question. So tell me a little bit about both of your backgrounds of where you kind of came from before you did this. Heather? Public administration. Worked in juvenile justice reform, uh, outcome evaluation, research, government, crime analysis. I've been in um, government and nonprofit for 25 years. Long time. Matt? Um, customer service, medical, and real estate. So, really, uh, going into this kind of project, neither one of you had a, a ton of experience in this, I would say, in that part of it. So what was your, I mean, you know, where did you start and when did you decide that, hey, this is something that I want to do. This is something that I dream of making change in Jonesboro. Tell me a little bit about how that started. So when Matt and I met, I actually worked for the city of Jonesboro. I was the director of community development and grants. And we were in the process of recruiting a boutique hotel to downtown Jonesboro. It was one of the projects that I was working on with um, Mr. Ben Owen Sr., who was the hospital administrator for 40 years. He was also my professional mentor. And he and I were trying to recruit a, a small hotel or a boutique hotel to downtown Jonesboro, um, of which we did not. And then, Around the same time Matt and I met and discovered that we both had similar aspirations in the world of development and real estate um, and financial independence and I asked him after a few dates, a few lunches, I said, hey, you want to build a downtown hotel? And he said, yes. That was it. Well, and, and it really it started even before <laughs> before that. I mean, uh, you know, y'all have really changed the course of downtown Jonesboro almost in a whole city block. I mean, let's talk about a little bit about what y'all have. You have several Airbnb uh, facilities, uh, you know, buildings. You've got a, a an office space that you used to have that you're converting. You have a venue that we haven't even talked about, you know, with the glass factory. I mean, everything is right here together. So... Was that just a concept that you've seen from somewhere else, or is that just something that y'all said, hey, I want to do this, and I want to do this right here where it's maybe easier to manage? I mean, what was the what was the thinking behind having everything right here in one block? I mean, honestly, it was just the way it worked out. I mean, it no pun intended since we're sitting inside my coffee shop called Urban Organics, but it organically evolved. You know, 311 West Huntington came on the market unofficially, and I felt like in my spirit that Matt and I were supposed to buy that building. I called him at work and said, I think we should buy this. It was the first property we bought downtown. We had been in other areas of Jonesboro, but we had not yet been in downtown. And I said, I really like that property, and I just feel like for some reason we're supposed to buy it. I can feel it in my spirit. I've prayed about it, and I just feel like God wants us to buy this building. And he said, okay, which he always does. And he said, why not? So we bought it. And then other pieces of property adjacent to that property started coming available. And Matt was like, I mean, he can tell it better Rich than me. But Help us get it. Yeah. I mean, that yeah. all yeah. the land that started becoming available was really Matt just paying attention well, I got to tell you, you know, guys, y'all, y'all had a foresight and seen things that, yeah, me even as a real estate agent, I didn't see that. I can remember when the glass factory, when we first walked in that and looked at making that purchase, y'all were looking at that purchase. I was thinking to myself, my gosh, I can't see what you could possibly see in that piece of property. We have pictures to prove that, folks. I mean, of what it was like at that time. But I mean, you look at it now with the glass factory. That venue's been there for how many years now? Uh, three. Three we years. We opened in January of 19. And it's been an awesome success. And talk a little bit about uh, uh, the venue, the glass factory, and 
what your plans are for next door that you kind of shared with me just a little bit about what's going to make that venue so much better for people in Jonesboro. So whenever we bought it, we absolutely had no idea what we were going to do with the property other than tear everything down. So, But when we finally got it cleaned up and some of it tore down, we figured out we could do the glass factory with it, which is, you know, what you said it was a was and is very successful uh, for weddings and corporate events, but we are turning our office building next door into uh, an overnight bridal suite for the class factory, which will be, you know, added into the packages that our clients are able to to use for that. So, and that they've been asking for, and that they've been asking. And I think that's, you know, we, we haven't had anything quite like that. And then you've added on to the back side of it where the outside entertainment. I know we as realtors have used the facility quite frequently for our banquets and other meetings as well, which it's hosted. Tell folks about, I mean, how many people will it accommodate uh, comfortably for y'all? Comfortably inside, I'd say probably 250 to 300. If you open that back door and use the outside, you could do 500. Okay, so it accommodates plenty of people.